If you're dealing with stutters, lag, or low FPS, chances are your CPU is bottlenecking your system. In this video, I'll show you the best tweaks and optimizations to fix CPU bottlenecking, boost performance, and get the smoothest gaming experience possible. Follow each step carefully, and by the end, you'll see a noticeable FPS improvement. Let's dive in. Frustrated with the lag and high ping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. The first step is to tweak two essential Windows registry settings to enhance CPU performance. Begin by searching for Registry Editor in Windows, then right-click and run it as an administrator. Once inside, copy the registry path given in the description, paste it into the editor, and hit Enter. This step disables CPU core parking, allowing your processor to run at maximum efficiency. Next, find the max entry within the registry. Double-click it, choose Modify, and set the value data to 100% to ensure full CPU utilization. Make sure the base is set to hexadecimal before clicking OK. Similarly, locate the minimum entry, modify it, and change its value data to zero. Again, confirm the base is hexadecimal and press OK. To further optimize performance, we'll adjust how Windows prioritizes foreground applications. Copy the next registry path from the description, paste it into the registry editor, and hit Enter. This will bring up the required settings window. Now, search for Win32 Priority Separation, right-click it, and select Modify. In the Value Data box, enter 26, switch the base to hexadecimal, and click OK. Finally, apply these changes to your system. These registry tweaks will significantly boost your PC's performance, especially during resource-intensive gaming sessions. Alright guys, the next step is to grab the CPU Bottlenecking Fix Pack. You'll find the download link on my website. Just check the description for details. You can verify it using any trusted virus detection tool or website. It's completely safe and free from any malware. Once the file is downloaded, extract it to your desktop and open the CPU bottleneck fix folder. Inside, you'll see several files that need to be installed. Go through each one and install them individually to apply the necessary optimizations to your system. Now, open the CPU priority folder. Inside, you'll find two subfolders, one for Intel processors and one for AMD. Choose the correct folder based on your CPU type. Intel users should open the Intel folder and install the provided file, while AMD users should do the same with the AMD folders file. Next, head over to the Tools folder and install the Quick Boost application. This tool unlocks hidden system settings to maximize CPU performance. When you launch the program, you'll see multiple tabs, General, Advanced, Cleanup, Downloads, and Windows. Start with the General tab, where you'll find essential tweaks to apply, especially after a Windows update. Some key settings here include enabling exclusive full screen mode to improve gaming performance by preventing Windows from interfering with your games. You should also disable the Xbox Game Bar, which runs in the background and uses CPU resources, and turn off Startup Telemetry to stop unnecessary data collection. Additionally, disabling mouse acceleration ensures smoother and more accurate cursor movements, which is crucial for gaming. Another critical tweak is turning off power saving mode, allowing your CPU to run at full capacity. You can also disable unnecessary background services to free up CPU power. Lastly, this tool simplifies removing pre-installed bloatware and unwanted games, helping improve system efficiency and free up storage. Now switch to the Advanced tab for deeper system optimizations. One of the most important settings here is disabling power throttling, which removes hidden power saving restrictions that can slow down performance. Memory tweaks in this section help ensure your RAM operates at peak efficiency, improving both gaming and general application performance. Another key option is adjusting the hardware data queue size, which improves mouse and keyboard responsiveness, especially beneficial for gamers who need precise and fast inputs. Next, move to the Storage tab, which provides multiple cleanup options to boost system efficiency. Here you can delete temporary files, clear system logs, run Windows disk cleanup, and remove junk files that accumulate over time. These simple actions help free up disk space and improve your PC's overall speed. Now go to the Windows tab for additional system tweaks. 
Here, you can enable hidden folders for easier access to temporary files when needed. You can also disable notifications to reduce unnecessary distractions during gaming or work. Turning off clipboard history prevents excess data from being stored in memory, freeing up resources. Another useful tweak here is disabling Windows transparency effects. While this slightly reduces visual aesthetics, it significantly enhances performance, especially on lower-end systems, by reducing GPU and CPU workload. After applying all these optimizations, restart your PC to finalize the changes. Once your system boots back up, you'll notice a significant improvement in CPU performance and overall responsiveness. Finally, install Park Control and launch the program. Once it's open, select the Bitsum Highest Performance Profile and make sure both Parking AC and Parking DC are set to 100 and disabled. Then enable the Dynamic Boost feature, which ensures all CPU threads remain active during gaming, delivering maximum performance. You can also enable Show Power Plan Change Notifications if you want, but it's optional. Next, head over to Power Options and choose Bitsum Highest Performance to fully optimize your CPU for maximum power output. Click Make Active, then hit Apply to confirm the changes. Check the green bars within the app. If they're fully lit, it means your CPU is running at peak performance. If you're not gaming at the moment, some bars might not be green, which is completely normal. Finally, click OK to save your settings. The app will now start automatically with your PC, ensuring your system stays optimized. If it doesn't launch on its own, you can always open it manually whenever needed. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. In the next step, we'll address CPU bottlenecking by optimizing Windows Startup. This will reduce unnecessary background processes, free up CPU resources, and improve overall gaming performance. First, open the Start menu, search for MS Config, and launch it. In the System Configuration window, go to the Boot tab, click on Advanced Options, and enable the option to unlock the number of processors. Set it to the maximum available value. However, keep in mind that this setting doesn't directly enhance CPU performance. It's mainly a test feature for advanced users. While it won't increase FPS, enabling it won't cause any harm. Simply click OK to save the changes. Now to genuinely improve CPU efficiency, switch to the Services tab. Check the box for Hide All Microsoft Services to prevent disabling essential system processes. Then go through the list and uncheck any non-essential services that don't need to run at startup. For instance, I've disabled several unnecessary services to free up CPU power. Once you've made your adjustments, click Apply. Next, move to the Startup tab and click Open Task Manager. Here, you'll see a list of all startup programs. Right-click on any unnecessary programs that don't need to launch with Windows and select Disable. This will prevent them from consuming CPU resources in the background. Once you've finished, close Task Manager, click OK and exit MS Config without restarting your PC just yet. The next step involves disabling unnecessary permissions and features to minimize background processes and reduce system resource usage, ultimately enhancing CPU performance. Open the search bar on your taskbar, type Privacy and Security and select it from the results. Once inside, navigate to the Windows Permissions section and carefully review each setting, disabling any permissions that are not required. 
Start by going to the General tab and turning off all listed permissions, as these often include settings that enable apps to track your activity or display personalized ads. Once done, move on to sections like Speech, Typing and Personalization, and Diagnostic and Feedback. Disable any features that aren't essential for your usage, such as speech recognition or diagnostic data collection, to prevent unnecessary background activity. Next, scroll down to the App Permissions section, where you'll see a list of applications with their respective permissions. Review each category, including location, camera, microphone, voice activation, contacts, and calendar. If you don't need location services, disable them entirely. Likewise, turn off permissions for apps you don't actively use, such as email, tasks, messaging, or radios. By doing this, you can prevent your system from wasting resources on unnecessary background processes, improving both efficiency and overall performance. Now let's disable unnecessary visual effects to further optimize your system. Reducing visual effects helps free up system resources while keeping essential visuals intact for a smooth user experience. Open the search bar, type Advanced System, and select the corresponding option. This will bring up the System Properties window. Navigate to the Advanced tab, where you'll find settings related to system performance and user experience. Under the Performance section, click the Settings button to open the Performance Options window. From here, select Adjust for Best Performance, which will disable all non-essential visual effects by default. This setting helps your system allocate resources more efficiently, improving responsiveness, and freeing up CPU and memory. After enabling Adjust for Best Performance, you may want to manually re-enable a few visual effects that improve usability. For instance, you might want to keep Animate Windows when minimizing and maximizing to maintain smooth transitions, show thumbnails instead of icons for easier previewing of files in File Explorer, smooth edges of screen fonts to keep text clear and readable. Once you've customized these settings, apply the changes and click OK. Finally, let's optimize virtual memory to ensure Windows manages memory more efficiently. Go back to the Advanced tab and locate the Virtual Memory section. Click the Change button to access its settings. You'll see an option labeled Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Uncheck this option to manually configure the settings. Select your local disk, C, as the drive where virtual memory should be allocated. In the Custom Size fields, set the initial size to 1361 MBB, as this value is optimized for performance. For the maximum size, you'll need to calculate the appropriate value based on your total RAM. Open the calculator and multiply your RAM, in GB, by 1024 to convert it into megabytes. For example, if you have 16 GB of RAM, multiply 16 to 1024 equals 16384 MB. Then divide this by 2, which results in 892 MB. Enter this value in the maximum size field. After entering the values, click Set to confirm the changes, then hit OK to apply them. Alright guys, that wraps up this optimization guide. Let me know in the comments if this helped you out, or if you have any questions, I'm always here to help.